In this video, we'll look at how to calculate the quartiles, that is, we'll find Q1, Q2, and Q3. So first let's begin by looking at our data. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 things. If we have 13 things, then we could have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 on one side. The middle thing is the seventh thing. And 13 things, when there's an odd number, you just divide it by 2. What's 13 divided by 2? 6.5. And then round up. The seventh thing, this middle thing is Q2, also called the median. And so here Q2 is 9. So we've found already Q2 easily just by finding the middle thing, the median, which was this 9. That's how to find Q2. Now we want to find Q1. So we take the bottom set of numbers and we want to find the middle of these six numbers. Well, when you have an even amount, you have to take the average of the middle two. So Q1, in this case, the middle two numbers are the third and the fourth number. I get that too. Let's say it was a big list of numbers. You could just take, I have six numbers, divide that by two, you get three. So I want the third thing and the fourth thing. So it's whatever the number of things there is, six, divide it by two, and take that one and the next one. So I want the third and fourth thing. That's, I want two and four. And to find out their average, I just add them together and divide by two. What's two plus four? Six. Six divided by two is three. So I know Q1 is three. And I already know Q2 is nine. I'm going to do the same thing I did for Q1 on the top half of the data. Again, I have six numbers. So I want to take the average of the middle two. Six numbers means I want the third number and the fourth number. So what's 14 plus 17 divided by 2? You can use your calculator or do that in your head. What's 14 plus 17? That's 31. What's 31 divided by 2? 15.5. And so now we know all the three quartile boundaries. Q1 is 3, Q2 is 9, and Q3 is 15.5. And that's how you calculate quartiles.